So let's talk turns. If you are a follow in Lindy Hop, depending on who your partner is, you could be turning between 85 to 98% of your following life. The good news is, the better you can do it on your own, the easier it will be for your leader to lead you through great turns without that person having to spell it out for you. So let's figure out what we can do to turn better. Warning. When I demonstrate these movements, I might not do it perfectly, but I will do my best. First thing to remember, and it's the easiest thing to forget, your Lindy Hop posture and your bounce. Just because you're spinning a lot doesn't mean you're not still a Lindy Hopper, doesn't mean you're not still dancing to jazz music. So keep that hip crease, keep your knees a little bit bent, and bounce on every beat. Second thing to remember, sometimes in Lindy Hop we're spinning on the spot, but most of the time we are spinning down the line. And when we do that, we want to make sure that all of our steps progress down the line as though we're going down a tightrope. Also, we want to go down that line and we want to rotate as slowly as we can, just like we want to do when we're not turning. A way to check this is if you're stepping on every beat, your footfall should be equidistant apart. Let's see that in action. To start with, we're going to have a simple figure. It'll be rock, step, 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 slow it down. Rock, step, 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 slow it down. Rock, step, 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 slow it down. Huh? Now we add triple steps. Rock, step, 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 triple step. Rock, step, 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 triple step. Notice on the triple step turns, you spin a little bit more slowly and that should correspond really well with the lead because ideally the lead is communicating a slower rotation during that triple step. An issue that I see with pacing sometimes is we'll have a big, small, big, small, because it's difficult to step behind you. And so what you want to think about doing is take the sides of your shirt or your shoulders, bam, 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 down the line. Really thinking about that backward step. The more you do it, the easier you'll get. Another issue I see is when you go down that line, you might go down the line and then go back towards your partner and then down the line again. So you can see now all of my footsteps are progressing. You want to make sure that you drive all of your footsteps down that line together. Something else you want to focus on is you want your rock step to point you in the direction that your lead is sending you. So it looks kind of like this. If I'm going to the fireplace, my rock step is going to be directly away from the fireplace. Rock, step, 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 boom, straight into it. Rock, step, 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 boom, straight into it. You don't want to get overwhelmed by the spinniness of it and send yourself in a different direction that you then have to overcome. When you take your steps, you want your entire body to be lined up. So during that rock step, my foot, my hip, my shoulders, and my face are all going down that line together, which means, you guessed it, my rock step can't be huge. If it's too big, then I'm not going to be able to maintain that momentum. Obviously, these are enormous spins. So keep them nice and small. Hint, you wanna do that for every single rock step, especially when you're following and you're relying on your leader to change your direction. Boom. Next, you want to line up your body so your toes and your knees and your hips and your shoulders are all facing the same direction. One of the problems I see with alignment is this thing I like to call sticky feet. So when you rock step, you've left your foot behind and your toe pointed in the opposite direction. Also, when you turn, sometimes you kind of pigeon toe your way through the turn. What you want to be able to do is let your feet coast along the floor so every time you take a step, your toes and your knees face the same direction so that way you're not tweaking your knees which is going to hurt over time and you're completely dedicated to that movement. Okay, that's good, but what about triple step turns, really fast turns and stuff like that? For triple step turns, good news is the exact same technique you just do it faster. So each triple step is a step, step, step down that tightrope that we were talking about earlier. Rock, step, triple step. Rock, step, triple step. Rock, step, triple step. Tiny rock, step, triple step. Rock, step, triple step. Boom. 
Now, of course, faster spins are challenging, but you don't want to think of muscling your way through during the turn. What you want to do is you want to load up that rock step, get as much energy out of the rock step as possible, and then the spinning part should just be a release. It should be the easy part. All right, but what if I'm getting super, super dizzy, all of this spinning? Honestly, part of it is your body just accepting the new normal. The more you spin, the more your body will get used to spins. When you first started to learn to swing out, probably you would do two of them, and it was a lot to handle. Now you can swing out a million times and your body's like, okay, this is just what happens. I get a lot of questions about if you should spot or something like that. If you notice, while I'm turning, I'm trying not to lock my head in place, but I'm trying not to do a hard ballet kind of spot. I just wanna keep a focus on where I'm headed to if I'm turning in a direction, or if I'm turning in less of a direction, I might wanna keep a focus on where my leader is. All right, let's get some practice with music now. So start by getting into that lindy hop posture, side the knees, work that hip crease. We're going to start with that simple figure. That's on every beat. Here we go. Hop. One. Bang, 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 boom. Hop. So let's recap everything we've gone over in this video. Number one, you wanna keep your lindy hop posture with that nice hip crease, softness in the knees and ankles, and you wanna bounce on every beat. Number two, you wanna step down the line with those equidistant footfalls. So you're going down the line and you're rotating as consistently and as slowly as you can. Number three, prep with those tiny rock steps in the opposite direction that you're about to go. Just like if you're jumping, you prep directly into the earth and then back up again. Number four, focus on that body alignment toes and knees and hips and shoulders all dedicated together. If this is tricky, don't worry about it. Just keep dancing. I swear your body will figure it out. Why? Because it's generally speaking the easiest way of doing things and your body will want to do it that way. The main thing that's going to improve your turns is just practicing, do it again and again and again. When I started dancing, I would turn down the line, down the line, one way down the room, and then the other way down the room, fast, slow, trying to do really, really tight spins with my feet really close together, trying to do larger spins. And now I'm at the place where I just love spinning. I think it's amazingly fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was really helpful for you. Just keep on dancing. Let me know what you wanna learn.